Hey, what's up guys? So I sort of uh, videotaped this like over a week ago. Um, it's a restoration of an antique, um, actually Art Deco era perfume bottle. And it's a French um, double crystal bottle. And it was missing the little bulb and the little tube that goes on it. And I got it on eBay for a bargain. It was like $9.99. And what couldn't go wrong for $9.99? A lot. So let me show you the restoration. Actually, let me hit the play of the video. So I was showing you in my video now, it's way too long to actually show you because it's even more boring than this video. But I was showing you um, that little piece on the end, I needed to attach one of those little bulbs and those tubes to it. The problem is the little nipple on the end is way too wide for that actual piece. And I'm showing it to you in that video there. And so what I needed to do was I needed to stretch out that bulb in order to get it to stretch over that nipple um, to restore the bottle, which is, really a pain in the butt when you restore these old bottles. Um, these things, the little nipple, I call it a Big Bertha. Me and my other friend um, who collects antique and vintage perfume bottles always laugh and call it a Big Bertha. So in order to get that to work, um, I'd have to cut part of the hose and make a retrofit type of, um, sort of like makeshift repair. As you can see there, the Big Bertha is way too big for a regular hose to slide over it. So um, what I had to do was practice before the uh, replacement parts came and try to see and figure out a way to get that to stretch. So um, actually, let me show you um, how I started fixing it. Hang in there one second. So what I did was, was I took like a dollar store Phillips head screwdriver that was really thick and it had um, like a thick uh, end on it. Um, I don't know what you call that end, the Phillips head end. And I played around with another hose and I tried to stretch it. Let me try to get to that part. There we go. And I tried to stretch it over that screwdriver. As you can see, um, it started to stretch and it started to work. So I practiced on another hose that I had cut off of another piece for a restoration I did. And um, it took like, oh my God, like 10 days to get the replacement part. But uh, today I worked on it and I was able to actually fix it. So um, here I'm showing you um, how it was stretched enough to fit over that Big Bertha nipple on the end. And I'm gonna show you now um, the, finished, uh, the finished job. So stay tuned and once again, thanks for watching another one of my antique perfume restoration videos. So it's all fixed, oh my goodness. It uh, took quite a while to get the replacement parts. Generally it takes one to three business days and uh, with the coronavirus situation, packages are being delayed, which is to be expected. So it was finally um, delivered to my doorstep today. So what I did was this little hose or tube piece here was actually way longer than what it is. So I shortened it um, so it wouldn't be like hanging down to here. And um, I was able to stretch it over the little nipple piece. Um, and uh, I was able to hide because whenever you cut these little net pieces, See how these are knitted? The material frays. So um, this little collar piece that was original to the atomizer bottle actually uh, covers that. So that's pretty cool and it works. I put a little water in there and the water actually squirted out of this thing. So it's uh, pretty amazing. This piece was uh, fixed and the restoration work was a lot of fun to do. I really like getting these bottles for really cheap on eBay and being able to fix them because if I was to buy them and they were like, you know, they had all their pieces, it would cost me way too much money and I couldn't afford to add it to my collection. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.